Alrighty people, I'm going to show you the difference between cast bars, minted bars, and stacker bars. Now stacker bars are a form of a minted bar. First of all, a little red baggie you can see there. I'll just work a glove on here. One of the secrets I don't tell you on YouTube is that you shouldn't actually really touch silver with your bare hands, otherwise it ends up tarnished. And you will see that this bar is actually tarnished from a couple of my fingerprints a long time ago. This is a 20 ounce Perth Mint bar. They don't make 20 ounce ones for some bizarre reason, although there's a lot of them floating around. I don't know if you can see down on the edge there, it's tarnished from where I've touched it previously, so along that edge too. Um, that there is a cast bar. It's a standard big blob. It sort of slightly triangles in a little bit so that they can obviously whack it out uh, or drop it out with this being the front. Um, you obviously have your amount of ounces and that written on the bottom there. Uh, your Perth Mint symbol up the top. And uh, although this is sort of slightly buffed, they buff them, they come out very frosty, shitty looking um, and they buff them and the bottom is pretty crap but that's a cast one easiest way for them to do it some of those have serial numbers some don't, that one doesn't that's not the Perth Mint's way but there are other brands that may do it now this is Canadian mint stuff. This is a minted 10 ounce bar. Um, you know, these are only half the size of that other one. And uh, typical Canadian mint symbol on the back. Um, this one is actually hard to see it, but it's sort of ribbed, it's like rippled like some coins are around the side. Uh, and these ones do actually have serial numbers. Okay, this one is a stacker bar. <laughs> this is actually the packaging that just come in the mail in. This is intrinsic tender. These are basically minted. I've got a feeling these ones are actually machined because they sort of have a few machining style marks on them and I think they are supposed to be machined but pretty much they're similar to minted bars and most stacker bars are in fact actually minted uh, I think it should be able to see there by Scottsdale Mint although Intrinsic Tender is actually an Australian mob they get Scottsdale Mint to make them and uh, ones on special and I've got quite a few of them here so I'll show you I'll bust the rest of them out now they stack plastic wrap on it. Someone was in a hurry to get them to me. Right, and they all click together as a little stack like that because of the indentations underneath. They all click together. And that's, they're deliberately made to click together because they're easier to stack inside safes. You've got to realise that a lot of people when they deal with these uh, stack them inside gun safes where you've got a lot of height but not a great deal of width. <coughs> but anyway, that's the way they're um, made. It's funny, I've even seen some little bars like this that were... It's only a photo of them, but I can buy them, but they're actually like a set of dominoes. And they've even got gold ones. Oh, one's a bit scratched. Yeah, I think these are machined, just the way they're all... You can see the big swirl marks running around like that. Yeah, that's what uh, 
Stacker bars do. They stack up. 